Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So today I decided to change it up a little and just show you guys some of the herbs that I use in a day. So when I talk about herbal medicine and plants, what might come to your mind is just leaves in some tea. But herbs and plants are so versatile and can be used in a number of ways for so many different things. So I wanted to show you guys some of the different ways I use plants in a day. So the first thing I like to do in the morning is put on my diffuser and enjoy a little bit of aromatherapy to get me started. I use pure essential oils and if you don't know what essential oils are, they're basically the essence of a herb. They're super concentrated oils that are extracted from plants and they usually have quite a distinct smell and they offer so many therapeutic benefits even from just inhaling them. So the oils that I use really just depend on how I feel but usually in the mornings I like to use something that's quite uplifting and energizing like this mix here of cinnamon, frankincense and basil. Another thing I like to do in the morning is to make a nice herbal brew. Like the essential oils I like to choose a blend of herbs that's uplifting and energizing to help me get through a morning of work. So here in this blend I've got some rosemary and schizandra which both improve circulation to the brain thereby helping to increase focus and concentration, just what I need in the morning. And I've added some dried orange peel for an extra zesty freshness. Throughout the day I love to use herbal tinctures and I often just add a few drops to my glass of water. The herb I've got on my glass today is Milky Oats. This herb is a great tonic to the nervous system and I love to just use it during the second half of my cycle when I might be feeling a little bit anxious or tense and in need of a gentle mood lifter. So at some point during the day, usually not long after lunch, I like to make another herbal tea infusion. Here I'm using my lovely Digest Blend and it's got herbs like fennel, caraway, cardamom and chamomile. These herbs are super aromatic and they can help with symptoms of indigestion like fullness and bloating. And remember when you're using aromatic herbs, make sure you put a lid on whilst brewing so to trap all the lovely essential oils in. So this is not something I do every day, but here I'm making a lovely herbal infused oil. This is a great way to make use of the wonderful properties of herbs for your skin or for your hair. And I'll put a link in the description box below for how to make an infused oil. So here I'm making a herbal oil for my hair and I'm using some traditional Ayurvedic herbs to help with hair growth and strengthening. I'll put the herbs that I'm using in the description box below. After cleansing my face in the evening, I like to use floral waters on my face. Floral waters are the byproducts of the extraction of essential oils. They're much less concentrated than essential oils and are less expensive too. They can be used directly on the skin and I love to use them as facial toners. Here I've got neroli which is great for all skin types. So I like to follow that up with a homemade facial oil. This has a base of rosehip oil which is really good for blemishes. Then I've added to it a blend of essential oils to help give me a natural glow. I'll make sure to put the link to this facial oil recipe below.